Why I am lifting the crucifix in public? The temple or the altar in heaven is God himself. The temple or the altar on earth is the body of Jesus Christ or the church. And through the Holy Spirit, the third temple or altar is the people of God. If one is truly the temple of God, then the heart is an altar. In the name of the three times holy God finds a place both to dwell and walk along with Christ and the Holy Spirit. Others are only Christian when they are in church. Which reminds me of the conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. That the only place to worship or adore our Lord God is in Jerusalem or in the church. But Jesus said to the Samaritan woman, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In public places we can see the reality of the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Gentiles are busy with their own lives. The Jews are busy preparing the Passover. Most of people do not care about him. He was rejected and mocked. They want to destroy or kill him. But his mercy and love are greater than all. That's why I carry and adore the crucifix to show his mercy and love because I know in my heart he is our salvation the salvation for us sinners Isaiah 53 who hath believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall...
prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors.